money coming in like a drug dealer And all these hoes in love with it Throwing cash at that act, that's a gold figure what if I told you this is all me? Would you believe me? Comment below, but let me tell you something. It's no lace front wig, it's no you part wig. Even though I wanna claim it as all me, it's not. But I'ma put y'all on, so make sure you keep on watching. By now, you should know about ID and hair. But after this video, you're gonna know exactly why you need to put them on your radar. These seamless clip-ins are next level. It's like tape-ins meets clip-ins, but better, safer, and so much healthier for your hair. Do you see how thin the weft is? If we could even call it that because it does not give that bulky weft look. Now, if you don't believe me, I am going to show you guys a close up of these clip ins in comparison to the older style of clip ins that I've seen. So on the left, you have the older version, which is a little bit more bulkier and it's not as seamless. But if you look to the right, that super paper thin clip in is what you need to elevate your look. For clip-ins, I prefer a braided base because I want as much protection as possible and I want as minimal leave out as possible. I just like to avoid breakage and I really like to protect my hair. We on Operation Grow This Hair this year, so I'm sticking to it. I'm starting with the clip-ins that have three clips and I like to start using this length towards the nape. It's the most comfortable and it fits perfectly with my particular head size. I have a 23 and a half inch head circumference and with these braids, it just works perfectly. And again, I feel like clip-ins anchor better on braids. You can let me know. I've seen some seamless installs without braids. And yes, I am gonna go in with my flat iron set to 380 degrees and do one pass. I find that staggering the ends of the clip-ins works best. It creates a more seamless and flat look. And I use my index finger, the width of the index finger as a guide on how I want to space them because this is 200 grams of hair and it's perfect. And as you guys can see, this texture is the Quora Kinky Straight. And with the flat iron set to 380 degrees, it does not remove too much of the texture. After installing the clip-ins with three clips, I move to the set that has four clips in them. When you get to around your ear, that's where you want to prioritize using the clip-ins that have five clips because that will better suit the width because that is the largest part of your head. Now this is real raw Remy hair, okay? and you guys can use the code K20 for $20 off, or you can use the code IDN50 for money off your purchase. Now look how flat this is. I can't get over it. Mm. Look, while there's still a chill in the air, you need to get these. This is an instant add to cart. If you're ready to upgrade your clip-ins, I highly recommend these. Like there's still a chill in the air so we can still flat iron our hair and it will last and it will look good. And I'm telling you, these will last you. Again, not having the bulky weft, flat, flat. That's what we want. We want unclockable. So you're like pink, is there anything you'd like to change about these clip-ins? Yes, I would like the top of the clip-ins, which we refer to as the weft, to be matte or a flat finish. These clip-ins remind me of tape-ins in that it has that shiny part closest to the part that sits next to the hair, but because it's shiny, it could be a little bit noticeable depending on how you move your head and I really want them to perfect the finish and make it more flat. Just give us a matte or a flat finish. You can dye these clip-ins. 
you can curl them. Again, I want to just show you guys the texture. I did not wash these. This is straight out of the box. You can always adjust the spacing of your clip-ins to ensure that there's no huge gaps that will be noticeable. Let me just tell you, I've never had clip-ins lay this perfectly at the top. And because they're so thin, you can sort of curve them so that they fit perfectly around your leave out. But as you get closer to the crown, this is where you want to use the clip-ins that have two clips. And if the hair closest to the clips is a little bit too curly for you, you can always use your hot comb. But I wanted to keep some of that texture because that volume closest to my braided foundation is just going to help create a fuller look. And again, you won't be able to see any of the clip-ins. Now, of course, I'm feeling this, but I had to get a little crafty. So I'm taking the clips that have two clips in them and I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm going to situate these clips right at the base of my U part. And I'm going to stagger them one on top of the other. You may have to adjust them depending on how they lay. Cause again, I want it to be super flat and undetectable. Are we ready to talk about my leave out? So you guys know I have 4C, 4Z hair, okay, 5G LTE, if you will. And what I'm doing here, since I've already like lightly blow dried this section, I didn't blow dry it too crazy, but honey, look at the length. Talk to me nice or what? No, talk to me twice. And I'm splitting the section in two and with the flat iron still set to 380 degrees because that's the magic number for me. We're not even touching 400, 410, we're not doing that. But trust me, even though the textures aren't matching right now, we're gonna get it together. Yes, trust me. Breaking this section down into smaller parts just makes it so much easier for me. I don't want to do multiple passes. Honestly, one good pass going slow doing the comb chase method is really all I need. And even though I have, you know, 4C, 4Z, 5G LTE hair, it's still, I would consider it to be a little fine. And some people, don't believe that for Z hair it can be fine, but yes, it can. And so that is the thing, like let's normalize it. But do you see that blend? Whatever I'm doing to my hair, she's loving it. And I'm gonna keep doing it. You can dust the ends if you wish. I know I will. Maintenance is so important, especially for my particular hair texture. And also I'm getting out of this habit of like using gel on my hairline when I do these hairstyles with the clip-ins. Like, yeah, let's, let's not do too much. I might do it on the wigs, but I'm gonna let my own hair rock. Like I have so much more of an appreciation for my hair after learning it and loving it in the way that it needs so that it can grow. Like shout out to my hair. Like So 
So if you still have those uh, bulky clippings, I need you to donate those. You can give them away. You can sell them if you will. But I need you to check out ID and hair. And you can use the code K20. You can use the code ID and 50. I want you to save some coins and get your hands on these because this is going to change the game. And what I love about these is they're super versatile. I could use this for an updo. I can take these in and out at night. Girl, I can even change the color if I want. So drop down in the comments section. Definitely let me know if you could see yourself purchasing these. You need to get them. You need to be adding it to your cart, letting them know Taste Pink sent you and slay. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, join the family. Trust me, it's only gonna get more lit. And kiki with me in the comments and share this with your homeboys and your homegirls. Make sure you take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one.